The undisputed four-belt super middleweight champ Canelo Alvarez is moving up again to face the WBA light heavyweight champ Dimitri Bivol in May in the first bout of Canelo's newly signed two-fight contract with DAZN. I like challenge. I like challenge. I'm, uh, that's made me feel alive. Challenge for me and every, everything in my life. So I like it. Really good challenge, and now I have a very good fighter uh, in front, and I, I'm excited. I'm excited for, for, for this fight. It won't be the first time Canelo has moved up to light heavyweight, with the Mexican superstar having knocked out longtime pound for pound challenger Sergey Kovalev in 2019. This second adventure into the light heavyweight division should have been an exciting prospect for both the fighters and fans alike. But a shadow has been cast over the bout due to Bivol's Russian background. In response to the current Ukraine invasion, the WBA has excluded boxers from Russia and Belarus from their rankings, and fighters are not allowed to enter the ring with their flag or have their anthem played or country named in introductions. Bivol, who was born in Kyrgyzstan to Moldovan and Korean parents, lives and trains in Russia. But the larger champ, who secured his title in 2016 and has defended it 10 times, knows about with Canelo is the biggest of his career, and he's happy for the opportunity. Uh, yes, uh, me and my team uh, wanted this fight, have won this fight, and uh, I'm glad. Should Canelo win, the real prize for him and his fans will be the scheduled second bout in the contract, a third and final showdown with arch rival Gennady Golovkin. I'm telling you now, the build-up to Canelo versus Triple G3 will be unbelievable, said Canelo's promoter, Eddie Hearn. They can't stand each other. In the past, they never really wanted to say anything, but now they don't really care what they say. The two best middleweights of their generation have already fought twice, the first time to an agonizingly close split decision draw in 2017. That most scored for Triple G. If that wasn't enough to get Golovkin's blood boiling, Canelo then tested positive for a banned substance before winning the rematch by majority decision in 2018. They were two of the best fights of the decade, and the world has been waiting for a third ever since. But before then, Canelo has to get past Dimitri Bivol at the T-Mobile Arena in Vegas this May 7th. To the junior bantamweights, the former pound-for-pound -pound king Roman Gonzalez looked as good as ever in his one-sided destruction of Julio Cesar Martinez. Hopefully, that sets up the fight that Gonzalez was supposed to have, a third bout against Juan Francisco Estrada. Despite stepping in on six weeks' notice, the always exciting Martinez was expected to give Gonzalez a fight of the year contender. The only reason he didn't was because of how good Chocolatito was. Gonzalez threw over a thousand punches and landed 374 to more than double Martinez's 182. And of Gonzalez's 374 landed, an incredible 346 of them were power punches. From here, the trilogy bout with Estrada is the most likely path for Chocolatito, after losing a controversial decision to him in March of last year to make them one apiece. The other fight he could take, though, is also a trilogy bout against Sisakat Sorun Basai. The TIE fighter also has a controversial decision win over Gonzalez, as well as a devastating fourth round knockout that looked like the end of Chocolatito's title career. Not anymore. Chocolatito seems to be getting better and better. That was just a sublime performance tonight, said Gonzalez's promoter, Eddie Hearn. You saw the difference between a very good world champion and a pound for pound legend. And on former pound for pound legends, Guillermo Rigan Diaz has lost roughly 80% of his vision following an accident involving a pressure cooker. The two time Olympic gold medalist from Cuba was at home in Miami cooking Cuban black beans when the cooker exploded, splashing boiling water into his eyes and severely burning his corneas as well as his chest. Corneas generally begin to regenerate within days and can be fully healed in a matter of weeks, so there is real hope for the 41-year-old Jackal's continued boxing career, especially as he's reportedly seeing sunlight and shadows already. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.